So how are we doing guys and welcome, it's Kraken here, back with 7 Days to Die Alpha 19.1 and we're on day number 20. So the Horde Knight is fast, fast approaching us. We have another Blood Moon Horde tomorrow night. Um, Just put all my stuff away overnight and having a quick look, we've got the tier 3 that we did at the end of yesterday to hand back into the trailer, but the trailer's not going to be open yet. So I'm thinking of just popping down here. We've got a tier three down here to do. So I think we'll go and have a quick look at that and then come and have a quick look at the horde base and see how we're looking over there because we need to make sure that everything's all right. Have I got everything for my loadout? Yeah, so let's get cracking. Right, here we go, here nice and early. It's not even five o'clock in the morning. We just killed that direwolf on the way over as well because we need all the meat we can get. Is there anybody going to jump down us? Right, let's just quickly... None of this is actually very good. Right, so let's... um. There's somebody up there. Who have we got here? Oh, there's Nancy. How you doing? Right. Get this reset. Is any of this going to be shut this time? We've got a toolbox shut this time. Not really anything we need, though. Backpack. A bit of trash over here. Schematic that we've already read. Oh. Missed that the first time round. Right, well, this looks like a bit of a ladder situation over here. Over onto here. Just make sure you're always looking around because you will miss things like this, like I just did. Right, there we go. Right, we need to get ourselves onto this ladder. Ooh, you little bugger. Oh. And the good old case of tennis knee has come back to bite us. Just like that vulture did. Um, we had a couple of people asking in the stream last night, actually. Get ourselves onto that. 14 minutes. If we notice much change with the mechanics, the ladders, because Alpha 19.1, they did change a load of things, and to be honest, I haven't noticed anything change. Doza. So if any of you guys have noticed anything change, let us know in the comments below, because they did change a load of the mechanics, but the trick of um, the ladder being too high seems to still be the same. The zombies can't get onto, so... Me personally, I haven't noticed anything change. Right, what have we got going on here? Yeah, I thought... <laughs> I love seeing them fall. Come on, out you go. Right, bit of food there. Oh, we're going to eat that right now, actually, because we are a little bit peckish. Oh, come on over, Chels. Right, well, that soon sorted you out. Anybody in here? No. Here's somebody banging somewhere. I don't know if they're from outside. Or whether they're... Somewhere in this POI. What are we actually meant to be doing? Because I didn't actually check. Oh, find the White River Supplies and clear. The White River Supplies are on this level somewhere. Looks like we've got to go up to the ceiling next. Looks like they're going to be behind that wall. Maybe I should have already... Oh, hello. Well, them spawn in the last minute. Yo, Charles. Come on. Come on. 
One left to go. Lovely jubbly, right. Uh, maybe, maybe down here. Let's have a little look. See some landmines. Which normally mean dangerous things, right. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, it doesn't create a train chain reaction. We're going to definitely be waking up the neighbourhood with this. So I hear a spider somewhere. Ah, now they come through. Now I've blown all the landmines up. Ooh. Come on. Right, well, I think we're going to go down there. Guns blazing. Is this reloaded? Yep. It is now. Right, let's go. Right. Let's be careful over here and see if we can pick up a couple of our arrows. One's dead in the landmine, so... I don't know if that was a fake landmine or not. Right, there's our supplies. Right, that's half of the quest done. Right, let's go and sort out the other half. Oh, look at that first time, right? Let's go our lucky looter goggles on. Hmm, not much. Not much at all. Okay, right, let's change back on over. Let's carry on then. Oh, hello. <laughs> I do love these guys falling over. Hey, Loza. It looks like those guys did come from outside because this door definitely was not open before. Are you hiding behind you? Any more wall safes? No. The nitrate powder there. Filing cabinet. Oh, we got a bookshelf there. Come on. Nightstand. Bookcase. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, two schematics which we already know. Which is a real shame. Now, we're the other side of this barbed wire now. Now, the light is showing over there. Every bow I've looked at, like the wooden bows and so far, have not been as good as this level 5 primitive bow, which is um very strange, you'd think, being the most basic bow in the game. Yes, it's a level 5. You only have the two mods in there. Oh, laws are in the corner. Can I get my arrow back, please? No. What have you got? Anything in? Are you hiding anything? No. Empty cupboard. Right. In doubt, get the guns out. No, we look all fairly safe at the moment. Now, they put all these mattresses down so you can't nerd pole back up, which is very sneaky, the old thumbpimps. Right, let's scrap you, scrap you. I'm going to scrap the brass items at the moment. We don't really need to be making bullets just at the second. So for inventory purposes, I'm going to keep scrapping the brass at the moment. Right, oh, here we go. No. Make sure we're not hiding anything. Sometimes they like to hide a dog something in there when you only take out the top one. We've got a working workbench. Rotten flesh. Well, we don't need any more of that anymore. We've got all of our garden made. Let's take you apart. Hmm. 
some log pigs and another note here. All we can do it as well. What have we got here? Kill some rabbits with a shotgun. Well, very shortly we're going to have a very good shotgun. So I'm sure I can kill some rabbits. We still haven't killed all the other... All the other animals. Dukes. All right, we've got the yellow dot of death there. Be the final couple of zombies. No, it didn't sound too good. Oh, Jarvis over here. And he was the last one, but we are starting to see some bigger, badder zombies in here. Check you out. Oh, some more shotgun shells. Help us with our rabbit quest. A more murky water. Right, let's go back and... Ah, oh, so we've got some rewards in there. Right, let's get our lucky looter goggles on. More lot pigs. Never say no to lot pigs. Okay, well, we're actually going to eat by straight away. What have we got going on in here? Some more shamway boxes. Oh, that was useless, wasn't it? Thunderburst ammo. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that this late into the game. Level 3. Okay, you might be worth a couple of quid. Ooh. Now, I don't think I've had those yet. Let's scrap those. Uh, get rid of you. And take that. Right, let's just have a quick look at this impact bracing. No, we haven't actually got one in there, but we can't actually fit one in there, which is rather annoying. Rather annoying at the moment, so definitely going to need to be on the lookout for some better footwear. Again, not really anything. One last shamway. Right, get rid of you. We have another paintbrush, so we don't need you. Right. Now, this isn't going back to the oh, hello, the trader that's next to us, but let's go and hand in the quest that we did yesterday and then get back over to the hall base. Another stranger in need? Good job. I knew you could do it. Right, we're going to take the machete. That's level four, so he's going to be worth quite a bit to sell. Uh, do you have any jobs? Nothing very close. I'm not taking any more of these tier two berries twice. Everyone we've taken has been terrible. Um, edge and clear. Let's take that business this trip. Is dangerous work. Okay, now let's have a quick yeah. look at that machete. Is it better than the one we've got? That's doing block damage of 28. This one's doing block damage to 28, but that has a mod on it. So let's quickly swap you over. Modify, take that out. And we're going to sell you in a second. Modify. Right, there we go. Now, you restocked yesterday and we had a look at you. So we don't need to have a look at you again. Let's sell you that. Sell you the baseball bat. Sell you that. We've got more of these seeds. Mushrooms. I've never known mushrooms to be as easy to get as they have been in this playthrough. Hopefully that's something new and improved. Right, what have we got? And um, we'll sell you that. Right. There we go. So much. Hey, come again. Let's get back to back to the hall base. Right, here we go. We need to knock out a bit more of this because it's started being more of a hindrance than anything else. We need to put a land claim block down here because when we were doing 
the last hall night, I had a couple of zombies coming behind us. And a few of you guys reckon that they're probably spawning behind me, which is most likely to be the case. We've got uh, a super zombie coming over here with all the uh, wobbly bits. All the jiggly bits, right? You ain't gonna jiggle no more. I heard something else there. Right, let's get up up and into here. There are floating chest over here. Now we do have a little bit of concrete, but not much. Not much at all. Got plenty of ammo and things like that over here. Right, we've got some cobblestone. Let's grab that. We'll also we'll make ourselves a land claim block and put one down over here. Oh, wandering horde time. Right, let's get this land claim block down because that should stop anything from spawning or landing in this area to be honest i've never known a zombie to land that close right, let's put you down there i would have deactivated the one by the base but we do have our sleeping bag by the base so are we gonna have to collapse this tower that might be have something we have to do now there's a few things i want to upgrade to cobblestone here but i don't actually have a hammer on me so there's no point doing that but as we're not as we can't make concrete yet we haven't got to wait for anything to dry so we can do that just before tomorrow night's hoard it's 12 o'clock let's have a quick look at the map again we got the lumberjack thing here which we could well it's literally i see it bouncing in the corners we'll do that in a second and that I think has to be done with a fire axe. That could be an interesting one. And then we have a tier two over here. That tier three needs to be handed into this one right down the bottom. So might be a little bit of a trek to do. There is quite a straight line down there. So maybe we'll go and hand that in. But go and have a look at this lumberjack. Right, uh, lumberjack. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Kill some lumberjack zombies with an axe. Right, okay, so make sure our axe is okay. Right. Could take a while. Oh, there's loads of them. How many do we need to kill? Oh, hello. I don't want to get too close. These guys hit hard. How many of you we got here? Oh, we got a crawler as well. You weren't part of the quest. Come on. Oh, we pissed you off. I'm not sure if we've actually done it yet. Normally it's about three. Oh, that smells nice. Oh. Bloody typical, the last one to slap me broke my arm. What can we do to sort that out? Oh no, broken leg. How oh, he hit me in the head. A splint. Ah, oh, bloody typical. Right, let's go and hand that other question. Right, I spy with my little eye something hot and fuzzy over there. And I want to kill you. No, I want your head. I want your bum. Well, I was expecting him to die a lot earlier than that. But hey, let's get all the meat from you. All the juicy, juicy steaks. Beautiful. We got some more of that testosterone as well. Right. Carry on heading down the road. <laughs> well, I couldn't resist, could I? Oh, chicken up on a perch. So we've made it down here a good time. I was having a little look about. There we go. We're actually doing very well for food today. 
if there was anything worth raiding over here. Now, there does look like there's something over there. And we've got um, the graveyard with the catacombs in it as well. That is over here. Sugar butts. I think we're fine for that at the moment. Still got my dodgy leg. Now that you did the job. Right, so for doing the damn bad after all. lumberjacks, we got a few dukes and um new casino toys uh, uh, coins, so not much at all. 17 bonus, I'm not sure what that means. Um right, for completing the quest though. Wooden bow level three, that does range damage of 27, ours is at 35 with two mods, so yeah, it would go in a slight better damage. Sneak damage to 200, 200, right. You're worth a little bit to sell. Let's just sell that to you. Do you have anything nice and close? Or something going back up to the north? Northwest? God, it's all miles away. Okay, we'll do a hey, fetch and clear because we get paid more on the way back. Now let's quickly... Uh, we can't sell you that. We'll sell you that. Right, there we go. We checked for you yesterday. You had nothing at all that we needed. The door hit you on your way out. Right, I've taken a painkiller because I was a little bit on the injured side. And here we go. This base here, this POI, has the catacombs down below it. And this is where Josh, Mr. aka Jawoodle, at the moment is turning into his hall base. Now, these walls here are not actually in the game anymore. These blocks are no longer in the game, so you can't actually upgrade these to concrete. So he's had to knock out the whole wall just to just to um, rebuild the same wall again to make it a little bit stronger. You can dig up all these graves. And you will find loot in there. We're not going to go through the trouble of digging them all up, though. Should have... we got some people in here? Yep, yeah, we have. I can see Chelsea there. Not sure if there's anybody else. Probably just woken them up, so let's... Oh! You fell a lot faster than I was expecting you to. Nigel, come on over. Do I have my arrow back? No. Is there any loot up here? I'm not sure if there is. Is there a way to get up there? No. Right, let's go downstairs. That's where we're, where we're aiming for. We've got all the catacombs down here. Now, depending on your game stage, early game, it's not too bad down here, but I've been down here before. And it can get a little bit hairy down here. Depending on how many people you wake up at a time. Right. Those are... Somebody up there? No. Let's not sneak around, we'll be here all bloody day.
Well, that took an absolute age. We got the lucky Luda goggles on. I used nearly all my lock picks on this bloody thing up here. And was it worth it? Was it hell? Right, what have we got in here? Weapons bag. Ooh, okay. Worth a little bit to sell. And we got ourselves a nice little pistol as well. Reinforced chest, level 1 AK. What have we got? Working stiff. Okay. Could have been worse. Another working stiff. Okay. Level 5 iron shovel. Look damage of 58. And to compare that to the one we've got, that steel shovel we had yesterday was not as good as the tier 4 shovel we've got. Nothing up there. Right, let's jump back to the trader quickly and sell off some of this stuff that we don't really need. Right, here we go then. Back at the trader for the last thing we're going to do today. What can we sell to you? Something we don't need. We've got all this old money. There we go, 700 dukes for that. Um, will you give us any money for those? A little bit of money for those. AK, we're actually going to scrap those for the parts. We're going to sell you that though. Sell you that. We're going to take that for the pistol parts. We need to read that. Steel armor parts we're going to keep. Let's quickly check the no shovel. Deal's done. Now uh, beat scrap it, you, scrap you, scrap you. Now we're going to sell you in a second. Right, you're doing log damage of 58. You're plus 6. So that's much better. So we're going to repair you and sell you. Repair you and sell you. Scrap and scrap. We need to read that one. Beautiful. See your inventory. See, you're worth quite a bit of money now. So, sell. So, that's given us another skill point. Shit, man. I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. So we got three skill points. So we're going to look at those in the morning. But that's all we got time for today then, guys. We're going to head off home. Kill any animals we see on the way. That might give us some more juicy, juicy food. And that's where we're going to leave it. We had a really good stream last night from when I'm recording this Sunday night. So make sure you come and join us there. We do Twitch and we do stream on YouTube, both at the same time. So whichever you prefer, come and check us out on there. It's usually about 6 o'clock GMT. Greenwich Mean Time. Um, any comments down below? Big thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Come over and join us on Discord and Twitter as well. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow night in the next episode where we will be facing the Day 21 Horde. So take it easy guys and we'll see you later.